Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm going to be going over the new HD Widgets 3.0 beta. Now, HD Widgets is the uh, best widget you can possibly get on a Android tablet, and it's gotten even better with the new 3.0 beta. So, these are examples of some of them you can get, some more you can get, but let me show you how it's done. So first I'm going to go to the widgets section, which you can see you have a lot of different types. So let me zoom into that. So you have a lot of different types you can get. And I'm just going to go for the biggest one right now, which is this one. Oops, wrong one. Which is this one. Okay. So I'm going to bring that one over here. And this is what's so cool about the 3.0 beta. You actually have a lot more customization. So first of all, if there's different types of headers, you'll see them right here. And you'll even have some different ones right there sometime. You can pick any color you want. So if it's clear, if you want it a turquoise, if you want it a dark blue, you know, whatever color you want, if you like green, orange, red, you know, whatever color you want, you can actually pick it. Uh, let's go for just a simple, actually, never mind. I like turquoise, so I'm gonna go for that. So first you pick the background, then you pick the clock, choose what kind of clock you want. Now keep in mind you're only choosing the clock how it's designed, because the clock uh, color and background is over here. So first just pick the clock, let's go for this one. Then we're going to pick the background of it, so we can change the colors and everything like that. Again, we can make it funky, or just, you know, normal, we can make it some tie-dye stuff, you know, whatever we want. You can have whatever you like. Um, all right, let's just go for that. Then you can have the clock colors themselves change. So you're gonna see how much customization this has. It's what makes the new version really just so much better than the old version. It has customization to it, so it's really nice. You can even change the font of how the numbers are and everything like that, so you have a lot. Now, this is the big thing. You have the sidebars, which you know you had before. You could either have uh, weather or you could have the switches. However, the switches are customizable now, which is, thank God, uh, that was my biggest thing. So now you can actually customize which ones you use. Oops, and I did not touch it correctly. And so you can actually customize which widgets are used, and you can actually move them in whatever order you want. So if I wanted the Wi-Fi to be over here instead, I can actually move the Wi-Fi and now it's at the front, or I can move it to be in the middle, however you want it, and then you can actually tap this little corner right here, and then pick out of any of these different types. Again, let me zoom in for you guys, just so you can see. I know it's dirty, sorry, I don't have a clean cloth on me. I tried my best. Um, but yeah, so, really nice. And so you can customize it however you want. If you like car modes, if you like brightness, you know, battery percentage, whatever you want. This is uh, my preferred customization, just so you guys can see. I like to have GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, auto brightness, and battery. So those are my uh, ones that I like, but you have a lot to choose from and then you can still customize it however you want. So let's just go with that one. And this is what it looks like but that color doesn't match that color, so you know now we can actually even change the color of the switches. And that's better. And now, we have that widget. And it's just that easy, and you can turn things on and off right here, of course. Oh, with GPS, you always go directly to it, unfortunately, it just goes GPS to the pain. Bluetooth, auto brightness, everything, just right then and there. So, really cool. And then you can have individual ones like these. And just to show you how many different colors and styles. They have a random button, so I just put random for all those. So, it's really cool. And this is HD Widgets 3.0. Um, it's $1.99. It does go on sale every so often, so maybe get it on a sale price. Um, or just try to find the APK if you want. But definitely, it's still the best widget you can possibly have on a tablet. And, even on a phone. I actually put HD widgets on my phone now because I really like it. And as you can see, I have a data enabler on here, GPS, Wi-Fi, auto brightness, just all up in there. So really nice. I like it a lot and I definitely recommend it. So now it's the best uh, widget for a tablet as well as a phone. 
Again, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.